Morning friends, hope you're doing well today. It's Heather at Bush Poppy Farm. It's cold. <laughs> Yesterday it was 72 degrees Fahrenheit. Today it is 52 degrees Fahrenheit. So it's very chilly, but I am out here this morning because I need to harvest for tomorrow's CSA, but also uh, those Lysianthus really need some fertilization. So I've got my backpack sprayer here and I'm gonna be adding to it, other than water, um, fish and kelp emulsion. Kind of stinky, but it works really well. And uh, we'll go on and spray that on the lysianthus and anything else that looks like it needs it. And then we're gonna get started on the harvesting. And then I brought out two trays of the dahlias that are already pre-sprouted. I thought about it last night. I'm gonna put as many as I can fit in that four by six bed uh, where we did, we're supposed to have the um, poppies and the nigella, et cetera, that nothing ever really germinated. I'm just gonna use that space for these dahlias. They will not be cage contained. So yes, there is a, a uh, potential for gopher disturbance, but I'll keep a close eye on it. I do have those traps and so far I've been staying on top of it. So that's what I'm gonna do. And then uh, depending on how I'm feeling, I will continue to work on opening that dahlia bed. All right, so I'm not gonna fill this backpack sprayer holds um, four gallons. I don't need four gallons worth um, for those two beds of Lysianthus. So I'm just gonna do half if I need to come back and get more than I can, but um, I just wanna get this done quickly. So I wanna put about two tablespoons of this fish emulsion um, and kelp in, and then the rest will be water. Okay, I am very uncomfortable with <laughs> this deep grass. Um, so I'm going to lay out how I would like these guys. They only need about a foot apart and this is a four foot wide bed. So I figure I can get three across and they'll have to be, uh, I'll have to stake these guys individually. Whereas the, the ones that are gonna go in the dahlia bed those I'm going to corral in. So I've got a number of the same variety here. So I'm going to go put, get these guys mostly together. Lots of Betty Ann. <laughs> and then there's Ivanetti, Cornell Bronze, and I have a few more that I'll need to go grab. But for now, I'm going to go on and get these guys in. And aren't you proud of me? I put labels. <laughs> cardboard is starting to break down under here which is absolutely fine and normal I'm going to be real careful so I don't break off I don't want to break off the stems on these now I'm gonna to have to bury the uh, bury the tubers deeper than how they were in the pot here because in the pots they we had the tubers sitting proud on the surface so that we could take cuttings, but we want to bury the tubers deep here so that uh, they can provide support to the plant. All right, yeah, the cardboard's starting to break down. That's nice, and it's got 
The native soil is really pretty. Okay, this one is candlelight. I can't tell you how much I want to string trim out here. These thistles are so painful and they just get you. They get you in the hand everywhere you grab. You like accidentally lean into something and it's thistle and it just, oh, it hurts. All right, so this one is Betty Ann. And I'm glad that, uh, I'm glad that I did save these guys um, over winter because I don't plan on, um, I don't plan on digging up any dahlias uh, because in my zone, in zone 9B, they can be overwintered in the ground and that saves on a whole lot of labor. <laughs> so that's my plan, but they can't stay in here forever because eventually the plant will produce so many tubers that um, it will stop being productive because it's just too crowded. So you'll have to dig them up and divide them at some point. But for now, probably for two seasons, it'll be okay like this. Then I'll have to come through and dig them up and divide them. And at that time I can get extra, uh, extra tubers. these handsome gentlemen crossing the street. <laughs> They've been gobbling for the last 10 minutes uh, and cars keep honking at them. <laughs> so they can cross the street. Um, nobody wants to accidentally hit a turkey. Um, we have so many of them around here. It is turkey matey season. So um, when you see solo males like that, they're usually jakes who are younger males and they're not generally um, at reproductive age yet, or if they are, they can't compete with the older gentlemen. So um, they kind of hang out together, but otherwise you'll see grown toms with a whole harem of hens and uh, they're strutting around showing their stuff, all their feathers on display. It's a really fun time of year to watch. And it's hysterical because the hens are just like, whatever, they totally don't pay attention. <laughs> okay. So these dahlias are in. Um, I'll just keep an eye on them and make sure no gophers get after them, which I think right now we're okay because the other bed is definitely okay. There's been no disturbance, but you know, I'll keep an eagle eye. So now I'm gonna go get the tiller and get to work trying to get that bed, the, the dahlia bed, deeply tilled so I can then scoop out all that soil 
and hopefully put the hardware cloth in. I doubt I'm going to finish that today. I have two batteries out here with me, but I don't know how long they'll last. So we'll see. We'll get started. This is definitely a workout. <laughs> um, so now that I'm below the top couple of inches, 
It's getting a little bit better. It's mostly just clay, but it's really still really hard to scoop out with the shovel. So I find that it's better to deeply till an area, let that sit in the sun, um, let, the, let it dry out a little bit, then it makes it easier to scoop. But I wanna show you a couple things that I'm pulling up. So you see this thing here. I don't even know if I'll be able to pull it out. No, I'm gonna have to dig. Oh no, here it comes. Okay, look at that. So these are, they go deep. So of course, if I just string trim the area, they'll keep coming back. I don't even really know what this is, but I'm trying to make sure that I, I pull those up out of the ground as I come to them. Sorry, my nose is running. I do have a couple of like shrub, small shrubs here um, that I'll need to dig out with a small shovel. That's not gonna be a problem. Uh, for the most part, I've gotten, you know, some of the edge done and I'm starting to just kind of go deeper. This looks bad because I just shoveled it. So the edge is still there, but it's under some loose dirt. Um, but this is the back end. So, I mean, I'm glad I'm doing it, but it's, uh, it's, it's really hard work. <laughs> so I'm kind of glad that I run out of a, sh out of a battery because that forces me to stop because otherwise I would keep pushing through even though I feel, completely done. <laughs> so um, that's going to be it for today. Uh, be back out here tomorrow to continue this, um, this trench. And I'm sure I'll finish the trench tomorrow. It, like I said, now that I'm down below the first couple of inches, it's going faster. It's, much, it's just looser dirt with clay. Actually, it's funny. This lower spot that I'm standing on here is more clay than this higher spot over here, which is more sand or loam. Um, so anyway, uh, I'll need to pick up the appropriate lengths of hardware cloth. I thought I had some out here, but it's one inch and I think one inch is too big. I think gophers can still, believe it or not, get through that. I know that uh, rats can. You wouldn't think one inch square, but they can do it. Um, so uh, I'll get quarter inch because then I can be sure. <laughs> and uh, and I'll have enough because I, I need to get a, this is 24 feet long. So I need to get, you know, a couple of rolls. So this is exhausting. Um, and I'm going to have to get a lot of soil too, because it's going to be really hard to scoop up what I've already scooped out to put back in. Um, I think just because it's, you know, there's so much clay, um, but that's okay. It'll just be fresh potting soil. I already have four bags, uh, but that's not enough for this. So I'll need to get a bunch more. Um, yeah, so we're getting closer. Um, and it feels good to be getting this done because next week, um, midweek next week, I have a, a big shipment of flowers coming, starts that uh, it's this wedding collection I've talked about before. I think it's like five different varieties. So I've got like about 500 plants to put in the ground next week. Uh, and then the week after that, the mums come. <laughs> And uh, those have to go in the ground as well. So um, at that point, I'll be op opening up at least one of the beds that I've covered um, from the earlier ranunculus stuff. So I really hope that, because the ranunculus are starting to peter out, um, I really hope that the other stuff, like the snapdragons are coming in, which is good, but it's been, you know, losing all that stuff that I planted in the fall, losing most of it has made it really challenging to cut for bouquets um, for spring. I mean, we're gonna have plenty for summer, but yeah, it was, it's been really tough because usually I have all kinds of filler flowers, Orlea, Ami, Daucus, um, more straw flower, uh, Scabiosa, all kinds of stuff to put in bouquets and I just don't have it. It's all gone. So yeah, that, it's, <laughs> it's been challenging. So I'm looking forward to continuing to get things in the ground and continuing to watch things grow and, um, you know, getting this dahlia bed done. Um, this whole area here, I'm just gonna leave under a silage tarp till I know what I wanna do with it. But I'm thinking of putting, I don't know, maybe some, maybe I'll terrace it and put another couple beds up there, but terraced so that they're flat. Um, I don't know, that I might actually just rent equipment for because that's gonna be a big job. And I cannot wait to string trim. This overgrown is driving me insane. <laughs>
And then of course we still have the high tunnel to build. So once I get all the summer stuff in the ground, um, there'll be a little bit of a delay between successions and planting out and I'll have a little bit of time to do these other projects. But Dahlia's takes the precedent right now and that will be done this week. And then next week, you know, the next two weeks will be transplanting, so. All right, thanks so much you guys for hanging out with me today. I hope you have a wonderful time in your garden and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.